Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this lecture, we will be dealing with the attitude formation, factors influencing the attitude formation, um, what are the functions of attitude and so on. So let's look into the context like factors influencing the attitude formation, attitude formation as per stages of socialization, change in attitude, factors influencing the change in attitude and finally the functions of attitude. Let's get into the lecture. Factors influencing the attitude formation. Personal experiences. See, experience, personal experiences have a direct impact on how the attitudes developed in an individual, which may or may not, uh, which may appear as a result of direct observation. Like, uh, if you go to a restaurant and fall ill, and again, if you go to the restaurant and f uh, fall ill again, you may get to the attitude that this particular place this particular restaurant makes us fall in ill so we should not go there that is from the personal experiences next one is association the group with which we are associated plays vital role in for influencing our attitude if you are in a healthy group you will always try to stay healthy but if you get into uh, influenced by bad group, you are you're associated with bad group and we who do not fall, follow healthy habits, eventually you will also try, tend to follow that and get unhealthy. Next one is cultural norms. See culture exerts enormous influence on an individual like religion, tradition, customs, prohibition, rewards, sanctions, these all come into the cultural norm. Uh, like you can say consuming beef in India is generally considered taboo but in western countries there is nothing such restriction that is something cultural norm personalities when own attitudes corroborates with those held by significant others they are accepted as being accurate to the attitude object like politeness of Gandhi as a trait of personality is followed by others that personality influenced others to follow that politeness. That is something personality do in our attitude. Exposure to information. By exposing to information like autobiographies, books and information or advertisements through various newspapers, internet, internet creates opinion formation which in turn leads to attitude. Like a simple example is that cosmetics brand use per persuasive messaging and visuals to conceive, convince that individuals that their product will enhance their beauty and boost their self-confidence. Uh, that is their strategy of marketing. So they try to expose themselves a better, better product which again influences the individuals and tend to for, for, form positive attitude towards the product. Next is attitude formation as per the stages of socialization, early childhood. It is the most important stage of the attitude formation because a child mind is clean. He does whatever he observes. Like learning mother tongue, the child observes speaking of uh, the mother tongue eventually learns by himself or herself. Next one is adolescent age. In this stage, the nature of social environment that a child, a child is born and grows determines the nature of the attitude. See, in this case, it might be even positive, it might get even negative. Like that is why stereotyping, prejudice, casteism, discrimination has been passing on from generation to generation. If a child sees his family stereotyping people of particular religion, that child also tends to develop it. That is adolescent age. Adult age, this is the least effective stage as an adult has his own prejudices and knowledge towards a particular thing. Like the attitude of patriarchy which has been followed in family will also be observed in the future also because that adult, that adult to that person has got that from early childhood adolescent age. Everything states him so eventually that, that will that might not or may not even change during the adulthood age. That is something uh, 
attitude formation works on different stages of socialization next in change in attitude do you think attitude can change of course yes but there are three bases on which it can change like compliance refers to change in behavior depending upon the consequences like to avoid punishments to get reward you change your attitude next is identification explains one's change in beliefs and affects in order to be similar to one or he or she admires like uh, in this case actually uh, individual adopts new attitude okay so like political party affiliations are adopted from their parents attitude the child also adopts the same type of attitude from their parents about political party affiliations that is something happens through identification next is internalization refers to change in belief when one finds the content of attitude to be rewarding and thus leads to the actual change in beliefs of an attitude object like for example you can say when a person dislikes the flavor of mushroom but when he tries it after a long time and finds it tasty and thus changes the attitude towards mushroom so that is something uh, he leads to the actual change in beliefs of an attitude object that is the change in attitude but what are the factors influencing the change in attitude first one is characteristics of existing attitude so we should know that positive attitude can be easily subjected to change but negative attitude is difficult to change next one is source characteristics source characteristics are like source attractiveness and credibility are two important factors that influence attitude change see when the source or the credibility is from a attractive or credible source it eventually gets changed but if the same is from a less credible and less attractive source it does not change again this can be cited in advertisements because like product sales increases more if it is publicized by experts or charismatic personality that's why people use models actors actors in the to publicize their product which will eventually bring in more customers to visit product next one is message characteristics see message is the information that is presented in order to bring about an attitude change see whether the message contains a, a rational or emotional appeal for example makes a difference the motive of the message also determines the possibility of the change this is again important what you say how you say the message that message characteristics plays next one is mode of spreading the message face to face transmission of the message is usually more effective than indirect transmission like through letters pamphlets through mass media more than that face to face transmission plays like senses making you can get it like it's not used to spread a message but it can even be made through online but still people go house to house home to home you know, to check in the senses because it makes it more effective next one target characteristics qualities of target like persuadability strong prejudices self esteem like the these are all um, help in the attitude change like people who have more open and flexible personality change more easily while those with strong prejudices are less to prone to change any attitude and also we can add like persons who have low self esteem and do not have sufficient confidence in themselves uh, like people change their attitudes more easily like example you can bring it uh, like due to influence of the westernization urban people are more prone to change than the village people that is the target characteristics this is something factors these are few factors which influence the change in attitude coming on to the next we will be looking into the functions of attitude next first one is utilitarian function it's actually function by helping individuals to maximize rewards and minimize punishment 
लाइक अवार्ड्स सच एस भारत रत्न पद्म भूषण विभूषण और एक्चुअली बेस्टोर्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट टू डेवलप अ पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड इन द सिटीजन्स टूवर्ड्स द रिस्पेक्टिव वर्क एंड सोशल सर्विस दैट इज यूटिलिटेरियन फंक्शन नेक्स्ट वन इज नॉलेज फंक्शन सी दे कैन ऑल्सो सर्व एस अ नॉलेज फंक्शन बाय ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एंड सिंप्लीफाइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द सोशल वर्ल्ड like it will help us to identify the problems in the other parts of the country, uh, other parts or uh, any incident of stuff and it helps us to simplify the information for example as civil servants uh, if we are given if we are given a chance to visit country like syria during the regime of isis we will definitely avoid that we will be like why to risk that no 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 let me stay here safely that is something knowledge function says about next one is eco defense so it can serve as an ego defense function by protecting the individual self esteem and maintaining positive self image like it helps in coping with anxiety fear etc etc again see everyone wants to play like virat kohli or rohit sharma or emma sorry but the, everyone cannot play however instead of accepting that truth to protect our self esteem we say that we don't like cricket but only interested in other intellectual activities that is ego defense next one is value expression it can serve as a value expressive function by allowing individuals to express their core values and beliefs they act as a means of self expression and reflect an individual's moral or ideological stance see as civil servants may keep a zero corruption tolerance attitude expressing commitment to poverty and the rule of the law the that value plays a major role here the value which an individual has play a major role here, here in the value expression function next one is social identity function it helps individuals define and express their social identity like contributing towards a sense of particular group or community Indians actually have a strong positive attitude towards our cultural heritage which helps us feel connected to our cultural group and reinforces our sense of identity when we particularly go abroad that is something we have much next one is behavioral guidance function it influences individuals behavior and decision making by providing a framework for making choices and guiding actions like example you can take a civil servant having equality embedded in his or her thoughts and the attitude is likely to behave decently with all sections of society that behavior that thought of his or her as deeply embedded and that is the outcome of that equality behavior is the outcome of that thought that is how behavior guidance that attitude of behavioral guidance functions next one is self awareness it can help people to approach things that are beneficial to them and avoid things that are harmful to them like uh positive attitude towards healthy eating habits and avoiding that are unhealthy that is something self awareness function works about social adjustment function so it can help in social adjustments like simplifying our perception of the world and making it more manageable for us like a open minded attitude person helps in all uh, adopting the diverse diverse cultural perspectives which facilitates through several social interaction and fostering the understanding in a globalized world that is something social adjustment function does so yes that's it for today's lecture guys hope you guys understood today's lecture do watch the video and comment it out we'll resume this attitude unit even the next lecture thank you